Jimmy Reed. Honest, I do. Jimmy Reed is the real deal, man. You know, I don't talk about him that much. He's a real Mississippi boy. He was born in, uh, I think, the late 1920s. Moved to Chicago. Uh, I think he was he was drafted into the Army for a bit. And then by the 50s, you know, he was, he was pumping out those hits. Jimmy Reed is as much of a part of my music library and playlist as, as Little Walter and Big Walter. You know, it's just not as much a part of my style. And Jimmy Reed's got that reputation of being that high end of the harmonica guy, but you best believe both Walters, both Sonny Boys, George Harmonica Smith, man, they could play the hell out of the high end. You just got to dig the recordings up when they're doing it, and they could do it. I think Jimmy Reed was the only player I ever gave the time of day that was wearing one of those neck rack things. Anyways, first line. So we start on the eight blow and it's, it's bent and he's releasing it to the nine blow scoops the eight scoops the eight down to the seven blow when he gets to the seven blow he sort of plays the whole chord he sort of plays the seven eight and nine a little bit but focusing your energy on the seven starting on the eight blow bent again Scooping it up, and then he bends the last one down, so the opposite of the of the scoop. Starting bent on the nine blow. Bent, bent, scoops it up, and the last one he scoops back down. All right, so that's the last phrase. He's starting on the nine blow bent, releases it. And then to the 8th blow bend and releases it. Back down to the 8th blow bend. To the 7 blow. And then he jumps back to the 8th blow bend and back to the 7 blow with the chord. That's the toughest part I'd say right there in this whole thing. That blow chord at the end is something very characteristic of Jimmy Reed. Jimmy Reed never recorded for Chess Records, he recorded for VJ Records. He's got a pile of great recordings through the 50s, man. Check him out. You know, on iTunes, I think you can get a big old anthology of, like, what, 40 or 50 of his songs. He's got tons of high-end playing, and and he played the guitar, too, while he was playing the harmonica on his rack. So, I mean, it's great if you're a one-man band sort of thing, and you want to cover some Jimmy Reed tunes. Great stuff. <laughs>